Recording has started. <clears throat> we'll start with the invocation. Sahana Vavato. Sahana Vavato. Sahana Bhunaktu. Sahana Bhunaktu. Sahaviryam karavavahai. Sahaviryam karavavahai. Tejasvi navadhi tamastu. Tejasvi navadhi tamastu. Mavit vishavahai. Mavit vishavahai. Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Vasudevendra Yogindram Vasudevendra Yogindram Natva Jnana Pradam Gurum Nat Tva Jnana Pradam Gurum Mumukshu Nam Hitarthaya Mumukshu Nam Hitarthaya Tattva Bodho Bhithiyate Tattva Bodho Bhithiyate Nityam Shud Nirabhasam Nityam Shuddham Nirabhasam Nirakaran Niranjanam Nirakaran Niranjanam Nitya Bodham Chidanandam Nitya Bodham Chidanandam Gurum Brahmanam Amyaham Gurum Brahmanam Amyaham Chamadi Sadhana Sampatthika Chamadi Sadhana Sampatthika Chamadi Sadhana Sampatthika Chamadi Sadhana Sampatthika Chamodama uparatihi Chamodam uparatihi Chamodama uparatihi Chamodama uparatihi Titiksha shraddha sama Jariti Titiksha Tiksha shatha samadhanam cha iti. Titiksha shatha samadhanam cha iti. Titiksha shatha samadhanam cha iti. Tamaha kaha. Tamaha kaha. Mano nigrahaha. Mano nigrahaha. Tamaha kaha, Tamaha kaha, Chakshuradi bahyendriya nikrahaha, 
चक्षुरादि बाहेन्द्रिय निग्रह चक्षुरादि बाह्येन्द्रह चक्षुरादि बाहेन्द्र निग्रह उपरम कहा उपरम स्वधर्माष्ठानीतोष्ण सुख दुखादि सहिष्णु सहिष्णु शीतोष्ण सुख दुखादि सहिष्णु शीतोष्ण सुख दाखादि सहिष्णु शीतोष्ण सुख दुखादि शीतोष्ण सुख दुखादि सहिष्णु सहिष्णु श्रद्धा की दृशि श्रद्धा की दृशि गुरु वेदांत वाक्यादिषु विश्वास गुरु वेदांत वाक्यादिषु विश्वास समाधानम किम समाधानम किम चित्तैकाग्रता चित्तैकाग्रता समाधानम किम समाधानम किम चित्तैकाग्रता चित्तैकाग्रता गुड थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच वेरी वेल यस थैंक यू सो यस्टरडे वी हैड फिनिश्ड प्रतीक्षा एंड वी वर स्टार्टिंग श्रद्धा and before we start shraddha i just wanted to bring up this image which i just recently saw of course on internet and i thought this was conveying very well that there are certain terms in sanskrit which have no translation in any language they only have their respective meaning but because our language has of language of sanskrit is not now well known to us we are trying to study the scriptures the shastra here in the context vedanta shastra which is written in sanskrit we are trying to understand it through the translations first of course with the help of those teachers who know sanskrit and have tried their best to give us the best translation possible but what we as students need to remember always is that depending only on translation to get the right perception may be an obstacle with certain very crucial topics words which have no translation there are words which are translated well and they convey very well there's nothing wrong with english language there is nothing wrong in the communication but there is a limitation with reference to those understandings those words understandings those topics understandings those ideas that are conveyed if we entirely depend on english to convey it to us because they don't have a translation and we have to use as best and close a translation as possible and one of the words that is has no translation is also titiksha tama dama titiksha and shraddha all of them have actual close translations they are close by but effective meaning comes only when you understand it with the help of a few words in english together this i'm particularly mentioning before we do the word shraddha 
while it was true with the tiksha but it's okay because endurance forbearance you know all these things manage to convey with the help of the definitions again the idea has to be brought in our mind that it is not the definitions alone that conveys the meaning the definitions are indicating of what that mind is representing so the word shraddha very loosely is translated as oh i don't know where it is okay, never mind is very loosely translated as oh here it is belief trust or faith these are the three words that they take most often it is said faith is shraddha shraddha is equated to faith belief is also sometimes close enough a translation and very rarely uh, trust has been used to convey the word shraddha shraddha ki drishti the next in shama dama adi shatak sampatti is shraddha after titiksha what is shraddha questions asked by the student we said what is shama then what is dama answer given then what is titiksha answer given now what is shraddha question asked and the answer given is guru vedanta vakya vakya di to guru vedanta vakya dishu vishwasah this is said the definition means the basic idea to convey what is called shraddha shraddha and faith when they are taken together if you just say faith in the words of if i have to translate the sentence vishwasah in guru vedanta vakya actual the word is vedanta vakya what is guru there guru is the one who is explaining the vedanta vakya now why did i say that it is important to remember that translations may not may sometimes mislead shraddha and guru in these two words in these two uh, in this context these two words can actually convey their own individual meaning to different people shraddha if you have translated as faith or belief or trust alone will give a different meaning and guru by itself has got many meanings to different people everybody has an idea of who a guru is vedanta me guru is a very specific term that guru is one who translated here as a teacher is sticking to the explanations as has been learned in the sampradaya of vedanta vakya vedanta vakya is the topic vedanta is the topic wo samjhane ke liye the sentences that are there in the texts vedant kya kehta hai wo vedant ko samjhane ke liye those words that are used in conveying vedanta perception and in our context advaita vedanta perception those words the guru is one who is sticking to that people have many ideas of gurus over the years in fact if you have any other idea of a guru it can kind of become an obstacle to your learning there are miracle gurus there are um, diksha gurus there are many gurus vedanta guru can be accommodative anyone that's fine 
But if you stick only to that meaning and approach Vedanta, study. Here the context is eligibility, remember. What is making you eligible for Brahma Gyan? Is Shraddha. Or Shraddha kya hai? Shraddha is in actually the Vedanta Vakya. Or kyunki wo Vedanta Vakya samjhana padta hai kisi ko, wo samjhane wala has to be a very specific oriented person. He sh person should have themselves got the exposure of the right learning from their own right learned teachers. So it goes as a sampradaya. Sampradaya means those who have the correct perception, have digested it, are fairly abiding in it. Ideally, a guru of Vedanta is the one who has nishtha in Vedanta Vakya. Brahma Jnani, Brahma Nishtha Jnani, alone is the one who is qualified to be a guru. Guru is not a loose term as it has become today. Guru is a very specific term. Huh. You can take it in any manner. It's not, not acceptable. Acceptable. But Vedanta Vakya Major Guru hai. Wo wo hai who is established in Brahma Vidya. And that is a very rare one. We say, I believe firmly. Why it is rare is the way Vedanta works is as much as I am qualified to receive, so much I receive. Even if it is, it's like example of Krishna and Arjuna or Krishna in his time, even when he was a Brahma Jnani and he was giving away Brahma Gyan, not everybody was receiving it. It is a rare reception. Because the reception is rare, it is said that it is a rare teacher, a rare guru. Brahma Nisht is a rare guru. Why? Because Brahma Nisht guru se receive karne wala is rare. In other words, the student is the rare student who qualifies the learning who becomes eligible to learn in entirety what is the vision of Vedanta. There actually can be two teachers who are established in the knowledge, but the receipt of it is not dependent on the teacher. So what really are the two words here I have started just for those who have joined now? Shraddha and Guru are the two terms here which I am trying to clarify from the beginning. The English translations or the self-concluded meanings of who a Guru is, both of them can become an obstacle to eligibility. If you have any idea of a Guru other than what this definition is saying, the definition is saying, Vedanta Vakya me Vishwas Hona. Or wo vish, kyunki Vedanta Vakya apne aap se thodi bolega. There is an ex, someone who teaches it. Therefore, Vishwas in that. But the point subtle here is Vishwas, jisko Shraddha ka yaha definition kaha hai. Agar aap isko loosely understand karte ho, and if you say it is meaning to be faith, then there is a difference. Because faith by itself has a limited scope. There is a slight difference between faith and Shraddha. Faith is belief. Interchangeable words. Faith is something which you can go blind with. 
you can blindly be believing something. To remove the blindness of belief is actually Shraddha. Shraddha cannot be blind belief. Shraddha is that quality in a person where you have your own thinking, you have your own capacity to discern, to understand, to inquire, to verify. You are ready with it. You have the quality, the jignasa, the urge, the desire to know, to learn what Vedanta is saying. This is all your, your enthusiasm, your own determination, your own uh, inspiration, your own uh, wanting to know what is Vedanta saying. This is your own. This is the base from where Vedanta starts. That is why I said Vedanta communication is less dependent on the teacher and most dependent on the student. And everybody is a student except the Brahmanist Gyani. Faith makes one a passive follower. Faith makes one eligible to some extent. It's not incorrect. There is an overlap. That is why in this diagram, I'm showing a concentric circle where there is a slight overlap, which means there is something common, no doubt about it. It's not a wrong translation, but it is a limiting translation. And if you just go by faith, you miss a very subtle point of the direction of your growth because growth is not faith-based. Your growth in your learning Vedanta is Shraddha based. It is based on how much Shraddha you have. And Shraddha is a word that I'm trying to explain and discern it a little from faith so that we understand the aspect where our own thinking is not switched off. Because when you just say faith, it is whatever you say. Malab Jovi Guru Kehta hai. Why the whole religion has become misleading to the extent that there are just self-conclusions and it is destroying life, it's destroying growth, it is destroying peace, it is religions have become destructive almost. Any religion, there's no exception. Religion by itself, if it is going to be left faith-based, it doesn't imply growth. It's actually not a qualification for Gyan, Brahma Gyan. Faith alone is not going to qualify you for Brahma Gyan. Means, aapne keh diya to hum apni buddhi band kar dete hai, switch off, hume to nahi samaj mein aara hai, but whatever you say, okay, I'll follow. That kind of a passivity in your learning may help for some time, but it will become limited. I'm not saying it is incorrect. That will become limiting. The capacity to have your own personal jignasa first as a foundation for learning. I want to learn. I want to know. And what is the Vishwas actually about? The definition is Vedanta Vakya Jo samjhaya ja raha hai by the Guru, usme vishwas. How vishwas? Vishwas means faith. But that faith is implying that I am thinking along with it. Which means I am not passively just ha ha. 
ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है यू नो कहा है तो ठीक ही होगा यू नो एंड देन आई स्विच ऑफ एंड देन आई ट्राई टू यू नो आई एक्चुअली स्विच ऑफ मैक्सिमम पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड लिमिट देयर ग्रोथ इन वेदांता बिकॉज बाय सम lack of fine discernment they miss out on the fact that a guru association is meant for growth a guru association is meant for learn in vedanta i'm talking that's why the word guru needs to be understood first well and shraddha needs to be understood well otherwise the definition is clear in itself i can tide over it विश्वास होना गुरु में वेदांत वाक्य में एंड देन यू विल हैव अ ग्रेट फॉलोइंग बिकॉज विश्वास होना चाहिए मीन्स वो कुछ भी करे कुछ भी कहे आई हैव मतलब माय एलिजिबिलिटी इज हाउ फार कैन आई गो इन विश्वास ओवर व्हाट इज बीइंग सेड दैट इज नॉट योर एलिजिबिलिटी इट इज अ वेरी थिन लाइन योर एलिजिबिलिटी इज इन योर कपैसिटी टू एक्सेप्ट वॉट इज बींग सेट वेरीफाइड थिंक अबाउट इट till i understand it i am going to question it but i have the faith that the subject is not going to is talking sense because i also keep verifying it along with me and i also have the faith that the teacher over here is also talking along the line in which the sampradaya has ex- explained the subject which is going to be leading me to learning the word here is praman praman means something which is valid by itself humne kaha tha veda is a praman it is a valid means of knowledge one of our initial introductory classes veda is a praman vedanta is a part of veda it's a praman a praman by itself can reveal knowledge it is a valid means of knowledge just as your eyes are a valid means of sight and form color and form it's a valid means of sight aankh jo bhi dikhayegi aap usko maan sakte ho ki ye wahi hai because your faith is that eyes are a valid means agar aapko koi kahe you know this is a famous example that uh, the sampradaya holds the teacher has given us you know that if supposing your teacher says um you know okay i say in my hand okay in my hand i have a pen this is a pen now at the moment if the question is of faith go with faith if the question is of faith what will be your answer just faith what should be the answer that it's a pen that it is a pen is it a pen yeah. is it a pen if it's just faith based the teacher is saying i am holding a pen you know wo kuch kehte kehte suddenly i am holding a pen and you are just you know under say oh the i must have shraddha i must have faith therefore the teacher just said this is a pen therefore it is a pen will that become a pen no your own no. eyes are revealing exactly your own eyes are revealing to you ki ye pen lag to nahi raha hai hai to pencil magar ye pen kyu keh rahe hain isko agar ye isko pen keh rahe hain या तो ये पेन है मुझे गलत दिख रहा है और या तो ये मुझे तो ठीक ही दिख रहा है समथिंग इज नॉट बीइंग सेड करेक्ट 
That's like owning your curiosity, you know. Then you will not ask Deepthi ji. You will never ask. Ki, agar it's, if it's only faith, exactly. you won't ask. Exactly, exactly. If it is only faith, you will just gulp it down. Why the whole growth of a person has stopped in the world? Religions have ceased to educate people. Is because they have become faith based. You are just supposed to gulp it down. आपको कहा गया आपको ये करना है तो अब आपको समझ में आए ना आए आपको करना पड़ेगा. No, Radha is a very very unique thing in Vedanta, in Vedas, in Hinduism is based on Shraddha. This is the only living religion where you are made to study your scripture. Where you are made to question your scripture, where you are made to, you are give, you are given the liberality to discard it also if you think it is wrong. But to discard it, you will have to start with examining it. That process of examining it while you are listening and understanding, because all of it is unknown. Vedanta may most of the things ka topic is something jo hum naya naya sun rahe honge. Pehle nahi suna hoga. Ya kabhi na kabhi jab bhi suna hoga, pehli baar hi suna hoga. Like the final word, Vedanta only wants to convey Tattva Masi. You are that Brahman. Ab you may take one day, you may take one year, you may take one hundred years, you may take one hundred janmas. The truth will not change. The truth is, from Asi, you are Brahman. Whether you take billion years, janma after janma, or the minute you've heard it, you've understood it. It can, time is irrelevant. But the fact is, that your Brahman is not a known thing to you today. But if you're going to take it on faith, what will happen? You will say, actually, what will happen? It's a very interesting proposition. Just take faith. What will happen if it's just faith? You are Brahman. After all this Vedanta ke end, tak, by the time we have finished Tattva Bodha, it will be told to you in the last section, you are Brahman. Now, it's faith. What will happen? You see a dead end? Samaj mein to aani ra. Lag to bhaiya, I am name and form hu. Sab kuch to mere andar ho ra hai, insecurity ho ra hai, sab kuch ho ra hai. I want, of course I want to know also bhi ho ra hai. But Brahman word. Isko, can you just teach without that word? Can you just tell us something which will be helpful in life? You know, the Shastra is saying, Vedanta Shastra is saying, Everything in life is mithya. And the, the, your own mind, while you are being told that, is asking, tell us something that will apply in life, that I can use in life, with which I can get this or get that or be this or be that, whatever. Now, all these terms, mithya, satyam, anrittam, uh, kalkotkya, you will even be told so many things. It's like, you know, uh, even Nitya, Nitya was something new learned. We spent so many classes on it. Vairagyam. What is Vairagyam? Why should I have Vairagyam? Everything seems to be a new introduction of a thought. A new idea. When I have Jignasa, when I want to know, the foundation is starting from me. Who wants to know? If this foundation is there in a person, then Whatever is being told till I understand it, understand it means I will go through the process of inquiring it along with it. I have to question it. I have to, I have to make the effort to understand it. Shraddha implies entirely. While there is a Vishwas, there is also an effort to understand and 
till I have not understood my effort doesn't cease to try and keep understanding it. I don't give it up. That stage requires Shraddha. Is Shraddha. Vishwas usme hai ki ye agar keh raha hai ki mein Brahman hoon. Chastra has to be Hitkari. Chastra ko that's why it said it's equated to mother. You know, mother, Shruti is called a mother. Why? Because it's Shastra. Hai. Shastra is not intending to mislead anybody. If it says the end of your samsar is with Brahma Gyan, Brahma Gyan alone ends your samsar, that samsar ending and samsar's lakshana is dukkham is any kind of a sorrow and Shastra goes further to say even if you say Nani I am a very happy go lucky kind of a person Aap kya hume jante ho? You know, I am an exception trust me I also believed it when Shastra said Dukhale the word it uses is Dukhale hai ye. and this was one of the most difficult Are, I, khushu bhai. why are you saying ye Dukhale hai? I have no problem in life I am a happy person and it takes Shraddha to understand what they mean by Dukhale. It's not referring to my present state of happiness. It is referring to the fact that it is a conditional state of happiness. That the minute this condition is removed, what will happen to me? I am again subject to Dukham. Dukh. Dukh seems to be the base. And Dukh doesn't mean that weeping, wallowing kind of a Dukh. Dukh is just a miserable, unhappy, just feeling sad, just feeling not fulfilled, just feeling empty, just feeling vacuum, just feeling, just feeling not up to it, just all the, so many shades are there. So, Vishwas means your capacity to own up the words. Up to that point, you can equate it as faith. So in this diagram, this common thing that you see here, the substratum, ye faith is inclusive in Shraddha. This faith is, till I have understood it, I will have to have faith in it. But if I keep it at faith, I will never understand. So Shraddha is your capacity to sustain the faith while you are inquiring the validity of those statements. I'll repeat this. Shraddha is your capacity to sustain the faith while you are inquiring the validity of the statements. It is not just accepting it because say okay many of us would say oh I respect my teacher I have full faith in my teacher I have full I know they are uh, you know so therefore if they say it it must be right I just accept it and then I forget about it so therefore I am um, fine with it you know what will happen after some your own knowledge is not growing. Your mind is not expanding. Your understanding is not expanding. Your views of life and unfoldment of the truth is not happening because faith is not going to bring it up. Faith can make you walk some distance but it is Shraddha which will give you knowledge and Shraddha starts in the Vedanta Vakya. And if the teacher is not following the Sampradaya or not following the Vedanta Vakya and its explanations for the benefit of learning, such a teacher is here in the context. Wo guru zarur ho sakta hai kisi aur context mein mujhe nahi pata hai. Vedanta mein guru bas ek vahi hota hai. Everybody else is just another human being. You don't have to, it's, there's no category. Just as we have more respect for our parents or we have respect for learned people, yes, learned people get ex that extra edge because they are learned. I need to learn. 
guru here in this context is that guru in this context i will clarify it a billion times and as many times as i want because this has been one of the greatest pitfalls of many a vedanta students that the idea of a guru becomes somewhere miracle generating you know uh, i used to joke uh, when i was learning as a college going student had that curiosity to know what is the truth and etc you went to a lot of places and one of the places i went was a mass um, public lecture and uh, you are still in college you don't know you are still finding whether this inquiry is even valid at all pata nahi tumhare dimag mein chalta hai ya aisa kuch hai bhi at that time the teacher there the stu- the guru there everybody said guru the guru there was doing something like some mannerism of hands i remember very well that if i had said okay this is it it would have been faith but the minute i said saw this i said this is so unverifiable mujhe nahi pata ye right hai ki wrong hai ho sakta hai right hai but i will never be able to verify by imagining some things their imagination i can't verify an imagination and you moved away kept on finding definitely vedanta that you have understood has been a discovery because you could see what is though it is a respectable thing yes pranams are still there for everything but if it is not a verifiable thing it is ceases to be vedanta me jo shraddha as a eligibility ka hai in the gita there is a very beautiful verse fourth chapter of the gita 39th verse of the gita says and ye bahut popular hai bahut famous hai is statement it's one one part of the statement sentence verse shraddhavan labhate gyanam the one who has shraddhavan means jiske paas shraddha hai this van shabd in sanskrit is uh, uh suffix added to mean owner jaise dhan is wealth dhanavan means the one who has the wealth in the same way shraddha is a quality shraddha now like i said i can't read so shraddha is shraddha 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 van means who who has shraddha jisme shraddha hai that alone labhate gyanam gains knowledge gets that knowledge which knowledge vedanta is our topic brahma gyan is the topic gains brahma gyan when you have shraddha and if you don't differentiate shraddha and faith then faith is not going to give you gyan just having faith accepting it faith means i accept it i don't have to question it and if you see the words further the dictionary meanings of shraddha and faith shraddha in sanskrit hindi dictionary means i am only all these are the meanings given in the dictionary aastha nishtha vishwas bharosa next meaning devi sandeshon mein vishwas dharmik nishtha aadar samman shanti man ki swasthata a very beautiful meaning man ki swasthata is the meaning of shraddha very few people would take this as a meaning of shraddha 
मन अगर आपको फेथ हो फेथ में आपके स्वस्थता नहीं है मन की तो व्हाट इज श्रद्धा गिविंग इट्स गिविंग मेंटल एम्पावरमेंट इट गिव्स यू मेंटल स्ट्रेंथ गिव्स यू मेंटल हेल्थ बिकॉज यू आर ऑल द टाइम वेरिफाइंग putting the effort to verify what is being said while because if one just goes into that effort of verifying verifying you know you become skeptical you become cynical har cheez par questioning ho jati hai kyunki har cheez questioning ho to fir aap kuch manne ko taiyar hi nahi hote because that why question can be added to endlessly to everything because while you are trying to understand the subject there is another pitfall and the pitfall is that questioning questioning is an endless routine habit it's an endless dosha for everything why did you say this therefore why is this being you know that why wala that endlessness anavastha in that question cyclical anavastha that erupts in the logical fallacy this can continue to prevent that kind of because even that will not give you learning to prevent that is this beautiful balance which is i accept the statement subject to my verification if i have gone through the process of learning and reflecting and contemplating and i find that the statements are wrong i still hold the freedom to discard it and this is where indian system the same vedas now if you go back to my introductory classes the same vedas have got so many schools astika nastika schools why because the freedom that is given here to to the vedic society is not faith based is shraddha based so if i am in my exploration of the knowledge discovering that i have some other thought process and i can i can verify that thought process as a correct there are shad darshanas that have come up vaisheshikas nyayas purva mimamsakas sankhyas these schools have come because the freedom to question the scripture is the glory of the vedic society from which hinduism is supposed to come and hinduism again i will repeat is actually no religion it is only inquiry we are forced upon to use the word hinduism as a religion there is nothing called hinduism it is a vaidika system inquire agree or disagree your freedom it is a way of life shown how do you conduct your life it is showing the way of life you laws have been said exp- uh, the outcome of those pursuits has been said अर्थ को फॉलो करोगे मींस मटेरियल वेल्थ फॉलो करोगे तो ये हाल होगा काम फॉलो करोगे तो ये हाल होगा धर्म फॉलो करोगे तो ये होगा मोक्ष चाहिए तो ये एवरीथिंग इज लेड आउट एज अ बूफे प्लैटर यथा इच्छसि तथा यू हैव द फ्रीडम टू चूज व्हाट यू वांट श्रद्धा इज मीनिंग दैट कैपेसिटी टू इंक्वायर वाइल होल्डिंग फेथ इन द वर्ड्स that they must be true but i need to know i need to also see how they are true if you see the dictionary meaning of faith english dictionary meaning of faith and you can probably see the indications how they are different faith has been defined as a christian theology trust in god and in his promises as made through christ and the scriptures by which humans are justified or saved not shraddha this is not what is required for vedic learning this is not how a, how veda grows a human being this is not what vedanta says is necessary you know there is nobody sitting there who is going you are, are who's just who's saying you are justified or is going to nothing your own karma will save you or will doom you you it the subject is only educative 
one of the toughest things to convey even to our society that the path that is laid out in the vedas hinduism in the real sense i am only being obligatory to use the word because the lessons forced upon you today vedic system is freed of all dogmas it is entirely a most democratic system of living that is why we have all kinds of signs and we have so many schools vaishnava shaivites daiv shakti sampradaya so many sampradayas are there even today they keep emerging and people wonder how many such so many societies can live together how many schools of thought can live coexist together why can so many coexist to live together because each one has understand in the same family there can be people with two different faiths and you can still be say i'm i'm a family that freedom with which we live and accept this is coming from shraddha that i know the sub scripture saying something yes i it needs time it needs education it needs preparation to inquire on what is being said while i am still inquiring i i full faith in what is being said the other meanings given here are belief in god or in the doctrines or teachings of religion a system of religious belief faith is implying you following a system of religious belief shraddha doesn't do that shraddha hai mujhe kis baat ki shraddha hai ye jo kaha hai na upanishad mein kaha hai ved mein kaha hai this seems to be so true because i can verify it everything said there i already suspected something and when i start learning it or i hear about it i start sensing that it makes a lot of sense and i am seeing that i am growing in my understanding and as i keep growing in that sense of knowledge and absorption you realize that it it is actually pointing to something that you are again the example of the rope and the snake if i am already seeing a snake and any amount of people tell me that it is a rope if i take it only as faith wo keh rahe hai ki ye rope hai mujhe to abhi bhi snake hi dikh raha hai and i am scared i am fearful the snake is going to bite me any time and if i move a little the snake will wake up and jump at me but i can't move because ek taraf wo log keh rahe hain ki ye rope hai mujhe dikh snake raha hai agar rope hai to you know what should i do i have to see it as rope that is pure faith but what is shraddha bhi they are saying it's faith uh, it's rope if i have to get rid of all this fear in my mind i will have to proceed to see whether it is rope or not in the process i'm risking ki agar ye rope nahi hua aur ye snake hua to the gone i have shortened my life but without knowing and by just believing it will protect me for sometime but it is not ridding me of my mental afflicted state samsara is the mental afflicted state vedanta is getting rid of that so shraddha is dealing directly with all other qualifications become meaningful because i am ready to examine vedanta as a praman just as much as my eyes i accept as a praman because i have accepted eyes as a praman if i am told this is pen i have a doubt 
दिख तो मुझे पेंसिल रही है और क्योंकि दिख रही है आई कैन नॉट ट्रस्ट नॉट ट्रस्ट माई आईज प्रमाण है सो द ट्रस्टिंग ऑफ द वेदांत वाक्य एंड वाई गुरु बिकॉज वेदांता इज नॉट टॉकिंग ऑन इट्स ओन इट्स टॉकिंग थ्रू समन हुज डाइजेस्ट द नॉलेज बिकॉज इट इज टॉकिंग थ्रू दैट देर फोर आई ट्रस्ट दो वर्ड्स एंड टिल आई नो दम सो दिस डेफिनेशन दैट कम्स इन द डिक्शनरी मीनिंग दैट कम्स इन द फेथ बिलीव दैट इज नॉट बेस्ड ऑन प्रूफ this is where it differs from shraddha where does it differ it differs in the sense that in faith the idea is to not question your test of your faith is that i don't question but i follow and that is how the whole karm kandi became karm kandi followers of karma became fanatic followers of karma because agar to the point that it becomes superstitious and terrible superstitions they restrict you while the whole vedic vision is to help you become free the same knowledge we tie ourselves down with and we bind ourselves and we restrict ourselves and that's not the purpose at all so belief that is not based on proof no shraddha is there is a total proof of what is said in every statement there is no statement made in vedanta which is not proven it is proved completely only thing is it is so subtle like i said yesterday your mind has to be withdrawn from its extroversion and these qualities help for it help them to become introverted introverted means focusing on the truth therefore shraddha is that quality which through which you grow by questioning you gain gyan next time we will do this definition which is again another slight more encompassing of shraddha and take it a little more so that the idea gets digested inside the basic point i want to summarize again is vedanta me if you slip ever into just faith believing what is being said must be true and you get intellectual lethargy you slip into an intellectual passivity your growth will stop you may become a nice person to some extent because you're not a questioning person so you know you will become like um, whatever some people have the ideas you know but your learning is not going to happen beyond a point certainly will not happen to unfold the meaning to unfold the meaning it will have to be learning in the fourth chapter only there's a question in the gita prashnena sevaya upadikshyanti whatever has been taught one of the qualities given to the student is prashnena and that questioning it is shraddha based i'm not questioning to argue i'm not slipping into the other extreme where i'm just questioning dry you know i'm questioning with a i'm just questioning for the sake of questioning har cheez ko i have to question because now you know Um, so i am not accepting any statement at all so see the thin line if i don't accept any statement i start questioning every statement i will never learn and if i without questioning i just accept every statement i will not learn shraddha ki drishi guru vedanta vakya dishu vishwasah shraddha so with this we'll end the class today and we'll take up the next part of it again i am i i'll definitely write by next week the shanti mantra and we'll chant it next time i will do this today
सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित् दुःख भाग भवे थैंक यू दिपकी जी Thank you everyone.